The following podcast is fan-made and in no way associated with Steam, Valve Corporation, or your mother. Also, it contains highly explicit language, so get the fuck out if you don't want to hear it. You're listening to the Late Night Steamer podcast, Steam Gaming, with character. It's more than a feeling. No, not really. This is <laughs> all back. Show that for the pre terrible. show. That is terrible. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this is the Late Night Steamer podcast, part of the Geek Insomnia Network. I'm your host, Survivor Four Five Eight. With me this week, he's just showing the world that it's okay to wear pink. It's DJ Pimp Daddy. Hey yo! Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're always, you know, wearing pink, you're in a brony skin, and my, yeah, anyway, uh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's oh God, what is it, Starlight, or, it's Moonlight Star, I, I can't even remember the character's <laughs> name. Sparkle Moonlight oh. or something, I don't know, I was being it's ironic. Of brony, we have a resident brony expert, we have geek culture Andy. What do you mean, expert? I am one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you're an expert. Hot, you know, experience <laughs> through experience. Anyway, what, what is that? By the that's that's the people that like the I love the, that love the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic show, right? Yeah, it's bros for ponies, basically. Nice, love it. Selfless, brave, chase. None of these terms apply to. Wait, no, that's for later. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the ad copy. It's the ad copy for our official <laughs> sponsor. Yeah, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Also with us this week is Tanakila. Hello. That's right. I, like I, actually, <laughs> I actually didn't have a bad intro for her this week. Uh, this is uh, episode 63, although the doc says 62 for some reason. That's probably my fault. Uh, Mail. Three, August 31st, I think, is today. Yeah, we are totally prepared. Last day to buy. <laughs> totally. Last day to buy the uh, tickets. Yeah. Uh, no, that sale. was. Uh, or was that yesterday? Uh, that was yesterday. <laughs> actually. Five dollars uh, more. It's five dollars, a whole whopping five dollars more. Again, we'll talk about that later on. But what we will talk about, hey Andy, uh-huh. we we huh? have a sponsor this week. We do. Yeah. Why don't Why don't, why don't yeah. you give it to us? Good. You, you should send me the ad copy and the show notes. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, uh, we do have a sponsor this week. Uh, DungeonsGame.com is our official sponsor, and they are trying to finish out a Kickstarter campaign uh, to get their indie game, Dungeons the Eye of Dacronus, published. And, um, you know, I we, we've talked before. We're never going to have, like, Audible or something for a sponsor. We're not going to try to sell you shit you don't want or wouldn't like. Uh, but this game actually looks really good. I'm not sure what they paid us to uh, sponsor them, but I think we've probably, between the five of us, all given it back in Kickstarter contributions already. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. Okay, here's their ad. Selfless, selfless, brave, chaste. None of these terms apply to the anti-heroes starring in Dungeons, the Eye of Draconis. Dungeons, the Eye of Draconis, a three-player comedy retro brawler, is in the style of Golden Axe, or, for the younger audience, Castle Crashers. Forged by an indie development team over a period of five years, it now needs your help. Yes, you, the gaming public, to bring its production to a happy conclusion. Go to their Kickstarter page, reserve a copy of the game, get a poster, become a character in the game itself, taking part in this epic journey. Dungeonsgame.com, that's where you have to go. Dungeonsgame.com connects you to their Kickstarter page of glory. If their funding goal is met, Dungeons will be completed by the, in time for PAX 2014 and available for PC, Mac, Linux, and a acronym that I should have researched before reading this oh, yeah. copy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you hey, Anyone want to help me out on that one? <laughs> okay, Scott. somebody should have... Randark, the Randark is all up it's, this It's thing. the Ouya. I Ooh, just yeah. realized my mic was muted. I'm sorry. Ouya. Oh. <laughs> He's like, Ouya! Yeah! He's screaming. Ouya! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't you listen to me? Oh, Does yeah. that stand for... Is that... What is that? No, it's, it's not an acronym. That's basically oh. the Android uh, powered... Uh, home gaming system that they're making. Oh, cool. Ah, yeah. Cool. Uh, yes, you can look them up at Dungeons. That's D U N G E O N S Game dot com and contribute to their Kickstarter. Good guys. Yeah. I am totally playing as the fat guy with the sword. 
<laughs> I, 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 I totally like thought that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> probably playing the skimpy chick. Yeah, that sounds about right. I call her. No. Uh, <laughs> hey, I already did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very thank, uh, very big thank you to Mochichi uh, for the ad, and then we, I just donated to it myself. Actually, yeah, this <laughs> is totally made their money back. We, just yeah, we, we pretty much <laughs> gave them their money back. Yeah, but, you know, I'm it's, totally it's really back good in cause. It. It's towards a really good cause, and I, I definitely excited. I want to play this myself. So you notice how the barbarian has a beer next to him? That's awesome. <laughs> That's totally you, DJ. At one point, one of the totally guys, you. one of the guys riding a chicken. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> this game is for us. <laughs> this is a definite. Uh, this, this better have some just killer multiplayer across the internet. That's, a, that's well, my only demand. <laughs> well, it does say uh, Castle Crashers, which totally has awesome. Uh, you know, side-scrolling multiplayer. So, if, okay. I mean, if it models itself off of Castle Crashers, it's going to be fantastic in that department. Uh, they modeled themselves <laughs> off of Golden Axe, which is actually awesome as opposed to Castle Crashers. <laughs> well, I'm also going right off their ad that you just read off. So, yeah, yeah go fuck <laughs> yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those ridiculous games where I can just sit oh, no, down, no, no. Dude, throw in a quarter dude. and play it for a half hour. Dude, I didn't have to throw in quarters. I owned that on Sega Genesis. Oh, I played the hell out of it. Better. I played the hell out of it. <laughs> For Golden X3, that became my life, okay? <laughs> my life. Anyway, uh, for those of you listening to the show via Stitcher, iTunes, and on YouTube, you can join our next live stream over at twitch.tv slash late night steamer for live giveaways and surprise donkey punch. There's no warning, or else it wouldn't be a donkey punch. <laughs> Wait, what? Exactly. What? Uh, so that might have been why you were unconscious earlier. No, anyway, uh... My neck hurts. <laughs> Where <are> I? <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you want to advertise your game or gaming venture, whatever you guys are doing, we do have a Fiverr. Uh, we will have the link in the chat. Somebody copy it to the chat. Mm-hmm. And um, we'll have it also in the show notes. So uh, definitely we will love to advertise all of your great games, especially uh, like the Dungeons game that we just advertised earlier. I so Andy, would once again, it was in the dock. It, it was right. the dock. Who took it out? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'll get it in the dock. Andy, take it away. All right. Yes, new releases. Uh, new releases on Steam this week include a Pixel Junk trademark, Monsters Ultimate, Speedrunners. Again, feel free. Anybody who has anything to say about these, feel free to interrupt me. Uh, Lost Planet 3, Castlevania, Lord of the Shadows. Sparkly Vampires! Yay! It's uh. <laughs> uh, Space Ace. Isn't that like 30 years old? I didn't Google that one. I think I know I've heard of yeah. that game. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was like one of the, like the original games ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sid Meier's Ace Patrol, Shelter, Corporation Maker, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Out of the Shadows, Ew. Castlevania: <laughs> Lord of the Shadows versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Out of the Shadows versus the Shadows. The Shadows. The Shadows. Oh no. Watch out, Shadow. Speaking of forced uh, jokes. Yes, <laughs> indeed. The next game is called Forced. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm guessing that's a rape sim. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Let's look at that. We're kidding. Uh, We're having, uh, uh, we have Assault uh, Android Cactus. <laughs> okay, the title sold me on that one. Uh, perfection. <laughs> uh, the dot is intentional. It's perfection, period. It's part of the title. Yes, it's part of the title. Yes. Uh, we have America's Army, Proving oh. Grounds, Beta. Oh, wh- how long character. has America's Army been out? Is this like a new version of it? It's essentially like a revamped version. The actual, the original game, I think, came out like about eight, eight, nine years ago. Like, if you're good at this game, do they just, like, knock on your door and <laughs> you've been drafted? Well, the whole point of the game, from what I remember uh, when they first started releasing articles about it, is this was uh, the Army's way of trying to... Uh, convince young people that being in the army is is fun and exciting while at the same time teaching you all these morality responsibility lessons and such. And yeah exactly <laughs> so that was that was kind of the whole point that they started doing this america's army game and in fact actually america's army i think was like the first real free-to-play first-person shooter that was out there uh they didn't have a lot of games like that at the time so the you know they kind of set the standard on that yeah i mean it functionally it was released by uh, you know, the government. It was a recruiting tool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brainwash. No, no, no it's, it's not, not brainwash. No. That's, 
Now you're going to have Uncle Sam knocking on your door and be like, listen, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we well, I'm already uh, in, so they can't do shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, they, you know, just all the chat of all our nuclear stuff on Feed the Beast, I'm oh, expected God. to already be on an NSA list somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This podcast is literally the only thing on the internet that the NSA is not listening to. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's <laughs> shit out of us. Good job, Andy. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. the host of the show. Going to be a team player. <laughs> uh, continuing the list uh, of new releases, we have Guardians of Middle Earth. DJ <laughs> interested? Bought? Playing? Uh, it's on my wish list. It's okay. it's strategy, so it's usually not my cup of tea. But I, I'm gonna try it out if it's on sale sometime. Cool. Uh, we also have the Chaos Engine and Memoria, and that's it for our new releases this week. Yes, a lot of new releases. A lot of shadows. <laughs> lot, of yeah. lot of shadows. Lot of shadows. <laughs> yeah. Shadows. Sorry, were you all expecting shadows. me to continue talking? Because I just kind of punted there. I was kind of hoping somebody else is going to take over for a second. Uh, uh, DJ, why don't you take us to our new release highlight this week? Yeah. There's yeah, an official the punt. There, video there up you there. go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that's professional podcast. There we right. go. Uh, this week's new release highlight is Game Dev Tycoon. In Dame, yep, yep, this it. I can't talk. Love, love, love a bit. Have another beer. <laughs> uh, in Game Dev Tycoon, you replay the history of gaming industry by starting your own video game development company in the '80s. Uh, create best-selling Giggity. games, <laughs> research new technologies, and invent new game types. Become the leader of the market and gain worldwide fans. And then put everything in a pit in the desert and put cement over it. <laughs> I was just gonna no. say, yeah, I, can <laughs> I added that last part based on your ET intellectual <laughs> property. Um, I just gotta learn programming here. Just give me a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is normally nine ninety nine. Right now, it's on sale for seven ninety nine, and it is by Greenheart Games. Now, our uh, our, our own Tenarium uh, has been doing an LP no, on no, this hold chair. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop you there. Yeah. He's not ours. No, he's ours. We claim he's, him. No, 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 no. He's not ours. I'm disowning him. Oh, you're disowning him? Oh. How many times have we tried to get that motherfucker on the show? <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, YOLO, right? YOLO, YOLO. YOLO. Well, you know, time differences and stuff. Yeah, okay. Time differences he and stuff. He has yeah, been okay, doing whatever. a hilarious LP on this. Go out and find his channel. But uh, when he started tweeting about this, I actually thought he was developing his own game. And no, he said that he was developing a, oh God, what was it, like a text-based adventure or something, like a, in, like, it was almost like he was trying to make hate an analog story inside this game. Oh my God. Yeah, so. Why? I, I don't know. It just because. Why? <laughs> but, he, uh, he, I think he's like on 10 episodes into it, so. It, at one point he did go bankrupt, so I've, you know, I've heard that's a big thing. But it's. It's like, it's almost like you're playing uh, The Sims, but you're developing a game. <laughs> so, <laughs> you could... Interesting. You're not actually making the game, you're just, and you know, you're, 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 you're the manager of the place, sort of, you know, twisting all the resources around to make the game, so. Sort of like the Late Night Steamer RPG. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did. I there. see. Yeah, I was about to say. I, see what I don't you know why did they there. did it in the '80s, though. Wish we could have talked to Tenarium ahead of time. That would have been <clears throat> good information. But um, yeah, uh, you can Maybe design and create games. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you could even move into bigger offices. Uh, <gasps> you could forge a world-class development team. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And well, achievements. See, there you go. That's oh. why it was in the '80s. Because if if it was more recent, it'd be one guy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like I mean? one guy in his basement programming away. In the one guy LNS in his RPG basement just doing a all beard. that stuff. You've discovered <laughs> Phil Fish. The end. You Aww. win. Aww. <laughs> you don't understand me. <laughs> that's too. <laughs> Well, literally, if you watch the the intro video here, it shows the guy sitting like in his one bedroom apartment. But <laughs> there's a car behind him too. <laughs> Maybe is he in the what garage? What the hell is the car there waiting there? Unless it's his garage. <laughs> I gotta say, this looks incredibly polished, and Tenarium is having a blast playing it. But for some reason, uh, it got a 68 on Metacritic, which makes me think that. This is definitely like one of those simulation games for a very specific niche audience, and 
if you're outside of those sim game sort of you know audience types then you probably should just skip it <laughs> although interestingly enough that very niche audience is basically us yeah, that's yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. so that's yeah i think uh did was this one of the ones i had early access or was or was uh, Tenarium playing it through when it was we, not on Steam? We talked about this when it was on Greenlight. Oh, is what that's happened. right. That's right. Because uh, w this was still in the uh, the Greenlight Spotlight when we talked about it originally, which I want to say was around in the episode 50 range. Um, but yeah, we, we talked about it then, and obviously since then it's been greenlit, which was kind of obvious because this, this game has a lot of buzz around it, um, which is shocking considering that <laughs> in hindsight... Game Dev Tycoon doesn't sound like it should be as popular as it is, <laughs> but it is. And, you know, and don't get me wrong, God willing, if people are enjoying playing it, then, you know, they obviously did something right. But, yeah, uh, there's a lot of buzz around this game, so it doesn't surprise me that it got greenlit and now it's officially released. And, yeah, awesome. Good for them. Yeah. I, uh, this is definitely going on my wish list. I'm just trying to save money these days, so... <laughs> Yeah, I just bu I just had to buy school books for my fall college class. It's like, oh no, <laughs> don't money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Money. Um, I guess does anybody have anything else about this before we move on? No, I I think uh, you pretty much nailed it on the head. Okay. Look yeah. at Tenarium's LP on it. It's it's very entertaining. Yeah, Leopard yeah. Keeper in chat says, didn't Tenarium also like that weird date game as well? Yes. So yes. Use that as, you know, <laughs> <laughs> your dipstick. <laughs> oh, oh, that just sounds nice. Also, Secret of the Magic Crystals, which I think he does have a full LP on, is it? <laughs> no, I think he just has a video of that. I was the one that actually did a, a playthrough of it, which we have on our YouTube channel, which if you haven't seen yet, you really should. Yeah, you gotta go it's, way to the beginning of the YouTube list. So. Yeah, that that was early. <laughs> it was probably my best video out of the entire thing, though. Uh, okay, uh, Tana. 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 <laughs> See, this is what we Tana, were talking Tana, about Tana, earlier. Tana, 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 Gila, Tana, Gila. You having fun there? We're gonna need a bigger podcast. I'm just going to go ahead and cue the music. We'll loop it. <laughs> Alright, so the next section is You Cheap Bastard. This week, uh, this weekend sale is Prison Architect. It's 40% off for $17.99. And Natural Selection 2 for 75% off for $6.24. And also, Natural Selection 2 is also free to play this weekend until Sunday, 1 o'clock. Woohoo! Natural Selection has been on my wish list for like a year now. And I just don't know why I haven't just broke down and purchased it yet. Dude, you should. Because the gameplay is it's like, ridiculous. It's like first person shooter with dinos running around. No. That's nothing, <laughs> that's nothing like it. That sounds like a great idea. I'm though. not terrible. I'm terrible. It reminds me of a different that, one. That's the that's what we had on sale last week, which is Dino Horde. Ah, oh, that's uh, right. That's right. No, Natural Selection is basically the RTS slash uh, first person shooter that again we highlighted on this show. Dick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's so many games out. <laughs> But yeah, basically the, the whole game is that you have a commander who ultimately helps set up the base uh, on either side, and you either play as the marines who are ultimately defending, or you play as the aliens, which essentially are growthing with your death. <laughs> and uh, the, the gameplay is absolutely sick. Like, it gets really nauseous if you're playing as the alien, because you can climb on ceilings and walls and crap, and it's just like, holy crap, it's, it's really just psychotic. But when you get used to it and you start playing it and get into it, you'll be looking at the clock and realize that you started eight hours ago and the sun's coming up. <laughs> so <laughs> just it, one, more move. one more I, move. I swear, and you know, you'll be on the same game too, because some of these games can last a long time if you got oh, no. good players. Great. But, I'll be on there for a while. <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those things you can easily get addicted to. It's like and a game I of Monopoly where I just everyone's haven't got to good. it yet. 
Yeah, it's it's <laughs> late night Monopoly with your grandma. <laughs> Crap, the sun's coming up. Block. Enough natural selection too. I'm just gonna play a turn or two of Civ Five instead. <laughs> 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 I see what you did there. Indeed. I thought you checked out by this point. What the hell? Yeah, pretty much half the time. <laughs> <laughs> and he's coming with the gold more often. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, pri- I'm just in joke assassin mode at this point. Yeah, so. that's all right. Prison <laughs> Architect, I, you know, I, I keep seeing this game on sale, and I keep looking at it, and I keep going, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Linux, Linux loved this game, but it's still... Of course they would! Yeah, exactly. It's, <laughs> he's, it's still in... I don't know. It seems like it's still under development, so... Yeah, it, it is early access, so... I don't know, I just, I look at it, and I go, why? Why? I just, I don't understand. <laughs> well, but, instead I mean, you know of what? developing a game, you're developing a prison, so. <laughs> yeah. Sim Which is, prison. you know, better for the economy, or, you know, better for the community, I should say, <laughs> not economy. You know, I'm glad that they're taking the Sim games outside of the normal stuff, you know? <laughs> we're not yeah. driving a car, we're not driving a truck, it's not a boat or a plane or a train, <laughs> you're making a prison. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever Which, I played the Sim games, all I would do was like build like a ridiculously fancy house, then remove all the doors and watch the people inside go insane. It sounds like <laughs> that's basically what Prison Architect is. <laughs> that's the goal of the game. That reminds me, I did get the door. Sims 3 from that uh, bundle. From Origin Humble bundle. bundle. <laughs> I had to mess with that. <laughs> Anyways, um... Uh, yeah, eventually there's going to be Sim IT Guy, where it shows people looking like they're working, but they're actually playing a game. So. Oh, and every now and then you get a support ticket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sounds you have, like your job, you're like, huh? God, like, I gotta oh, get up. I, I, gotta, I gotta walk over to one of the racks and reboot one of the machines. Yeah. So. Usually in my case, it's something Dude. like, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here... I got the education to like you know develop an entire infrastructure and you know an architect gigantic solutions and then the ticket I end up getting from people will be like, "Will you come fix a printer?" I'm like, fuck! <laughs> like, I, I hate, hate printers. I fucking hate why, printers. Why every Toilet time clogged. do I change the font size? The letter size changes. I I'll don't understand. That, <laughs> that was an actual IT question I got, by the way. <laughs> that happened. It happens. Yep. Yeah, there, there was an old article on The uh, Onion, the satirical newspaper, that was uh, announcing the release of a new game called World of World of Warcraft, where you just oh, simulated yeah. someone playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> oh, no. Press the W key. You, in turn, tell the character to also press the, press w, the w key, key. <laughs> and make his character move forward. Yeah, that was genius. I remember watching that. That was fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well, this week inside our Steam box, ooh. it's steamy. Uh, I'll just go first because I'm, I'm a dick. Uh, this week, my or sons and I first. were playing DuckTales. <laughs> uh, I love the fact that you you can save the game in between levels, so I don't feel like I have to sit down and play the entire game in one sitting like the NES version. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice to just kick back, play 15, 20 minutes, do a level, and then, like, I think all we have left is the moon. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've also been playing, unfortunately, still Feed the Beast. Um, unfortunately, tried, don't lie. I, don't lie. No, no, no. I tried my hardest to actually legitimately get banned from the server, and then someone <laughs> else got banned instead, which I thought was funny. Well, <laughs> that's, that's not completely true. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, uh, <Yeah. laughs> and then uh, Andy, my sons, and I have been playing Plants vs. Zombies two on my iPhone. Okay, that's the first I've I heard love of this. that game. Yeah, it is. Really, there's another one. Oh my god, it is yeah. completely. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's fantastic, but at the same time, it is a hundred percent made for microtransactions so it is oh. annoying at the fact that it's just like do this pay five bucks to win you know yeah. but it's it's you know it's fun i'm still in the the first levels you know so i didn't know they made a second one but yeah, yeah. neither did yeah. i and yeah. i it, because uh, i have to have my microphone close to me so my computer's necessarily a little far away as i was googling that i just googled the search term pecants versus zombies <laughs> <laughs> Pecants versus zombies. 
Yes. The second one is out, but I, I'm i guessing it's just on iOS and Android platforms. I don't know if it's on... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't actually... You would think that that would be on Steam eventually, but... It probably will, but it's an EA game. Ah. That's the thing you gotta think yeah, about. Yeah, that is true, because like when you start it up, the EA logo stays there for like 20 seconds on the fucking screen. You're just like, oh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Why do they even do that? It's like Electronic Arts. Remember how much you fucking hate us? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, the, I, I gotta warn you, man. It is a microtransaction whore, so... Yeah, that's not a surprise. Yeah, because it's run by EA. <laughs> so EA far, is- like, <laughs> like, in the very first world, there's these locked levels. There's, like, locked path that you can't even go down unless you have, like, three keys. And when you get to that, you only have one key, but they'll sell you two more keys. But you can go back and replay earlier levels and just keep farming them for keys and not pay. But it's one of those things where you just got to keep replaying the same level or just plunk down five bucks, which I'm not going to do because whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so. so anyways. Uh, do you and DJ Junior Junior and DJ Junior 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 have a, a plan to do another uh, video about them uh, simulating? <laughs> Maybe. <Okay. laughs> he does zombies a little too much, and school's coming up. I don't want him to like go uh, first uh, week of school, walk around like brains. You know, was was that you slightly off screen throwing Nerf balls at him, or was that his brother? Uh, no, that was me. We, we were flinging nice. uh, stuffed <laughs> Angry Birds. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so. Viper, what are you playing this week? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> you know, I really haven't had a, a bunch of time to play games, so I had to sneak in a few games while I was at it. Uh, obviously, Feed the Beast. Playing a lot of that. Working on my nuclear uh, power plant next, so I can be like Russia as well. <laughs> um, I've been playing Happy Wheels again, and I swear, like, it was one of those games where I never truly understood why it was so popular until I've gotten to a point where I'm finding new ways to mutilate my character. It's just, ah, uh, it is so fantastic. At some point, I do want to try and do some videos for that, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, also, I've been playing some motherfucking Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost another one. Oh, no. At least it's not Candy World Crush of Tanks. Wow. But, yeah, no, it's not World of Tanks, at least. Uh, I gave up on that shit. And, you know, the thing is that Candy Crush gets a lot of hate because it's popular. And, honestly, it's just a match three game. But the reason why I like it is because of the fact that, like, they do increase the difficulty the later on you get in the levels. And there's, you know, fun little mechanics that kind of make the game more interesting the more that you play it versus something like Bejeweled, where it's essentially the same goddamn thing continuously. <laughs> uh so I no, like, guys, don't understand. I only do this trucker math so it helps me stay up all night so I can get a lot more work accomplished. Eh, it's totally a good thing, trucker math. Yeah, you should try it. Uh. <laughs> all right, Stewie Griffin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Uh, and, of course, in my Sonic-thon, I, uh, I beat Sonic 1 uh, last weekend pretty quickly, actually. I mean, that game has been... Uh, pretty easy to beat for a while for me. Uh, started on Sonic 2, beat the hell out of that again, but now I'm trying to, like... I, I did it once when I was a kid, and I can't do it again. I, I'm trying to get to the point where I have all of the Chaos Emeralds on Sonic 2 before I get to the third stage. So that way I could pretty much use, like, Super Sonic through most of it. I was able to do it as a kid. I can't do it now, because those stupid Chaos Emerald stages are freaking hard. But, um... <laughs> I also started on uh, Which one, is the one where you get to play as the fox that can fly. Is that three that that starts in Tails? I think I was three, an NES guy. Three lets you officially play as Tails, but Sonic Two is the one to introduce the character as like a sidekick. Cool. But Sonic Three actually made him useful by allowing him to fly, and you know he could pick you up and bring you to areas. And I was actually just about to get to that. I was playing Sonic Three and Knuckles. <laughs> oh, whoops! So, Should have read the notes. <laughs> that's all right. You yeah, should have sent them to me. Ha-ha. Uh, <laughs> hey, Andy, I noticed you didn't write anything in your Steam box section. Why is that? Uh, it's because I've been traveling all week, uh, and I haven't even had a chance to log on. Uh, about the only gaming that I've been doing has been on uh, my uh, Android phone, and I've been playing probably eh, two or three years old uh, called Wind Up Night. Huh? Anybody familiar with that one? Nope. Vaguely. 
Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, it's free, so yay. <laughs> that meets my first criteria for being a good game. Uh, and yep. it's basically, you know, uh, just uh, touch the... It, it, you know, touch the button to slash, touch the button to jump, touch the button to duck, touch the button to roll, and if you don't do it exactly at the right time and in exactly the right order, you die. So it's a, a press X to not die sort of game, but it's uh, really well done, and it's a lot of fun. So, yep. There you go. Wind up night. Hey. Wind up night. Speed. I'm downloading onto my phone right now, actually. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> I, I'm sold. Tana. <laughs> Okay, on Steam, I've been playing Monster Loves Me. I've been tinkering with that once in a while. And then I got lost in Evil Genius this past week. I actually played it for quite a bit. I finished playing Deadpool on 360. By leaving me out on the porch. I felt so bad about that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> and then on my phone, I, I was also still playing Robot Unicorn Attack 2. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and a uh, new game I just recently started playing on my phone is called Princess Punt, which is <laughs> wow. which is similar is it to like, like a Angry Birds. It's similar to like Angry Birds, but you have a princess kicking like knights into the into the destroying stuff versus flinging. And she's birds. totally so modeled it's... after Princess Peach too. <laughs> yeah, I know it's gonna sue the shit out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's made in Japan or something. Oh, it, yeah, they're totally... <laughs> <laughs> they're in the homeland. Uh, so it's actually a lot of fun. That's cool. All right, I, I have a little interjection here. Uh, during the pre-show, I was... Uh, uh, talking to a survivor about how I always enjoy reading his emails because oh, they're always yeah. spelled and formatted correctly. And, you know... Uh, tell me exactly what I'm supposed to do with him, and he's like the only friend that I have that writes emails like that. Uh, as a counterpoint, during this show, I received a text from my co-host on Geek Culture Happy Hour, Fondre. Oh, God. Uh, let me read it to you as a direct <laughs> counterpoint to Scott's emails. Okay, parse this for me. Watching Eric Roberts' daughter, like him, she will do anything. End of text. What the fuck? <laughs> That is a Fondre text. If I ever... <laughs> Not as good as his ones where he had like a head injury. Oh, God, those were, those were amazing. I hope you like screenshot those. No, I still got them. <laughs> oh, my God. That's classic. Uh, let's see. In chat, uh, Leper Keeper says he finished Saints Row 4 with a 98% completion. And he says, damn challenges are nerfing my 100% for now. <laughs> Somebody's already forgot the new format. Uh, Mallory's playing Final Fantasy 14 ARR. Uh, Mockingjay Jay is playing LOL or League of Legends. <laughs> and he has no more fun. I, I like LOL better. <laughs> LOL. LOL. And uh, yeah, I, this is a discussion about Sonic and Tails. So. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I'm totally glad you took uh, Tana's job on that. Yeah, what's well, wrong with you? She fucks it up every week, so. Oh, oh, God, oh! Come on. <laughs> Also, this Whoa. is a pink text, so it's technically my section. So, I don't know who sent well, me I this. Who sent the freaking image, Mockingjay, of the cat hey, giving a blowjob a... to the popsicle? What? Dude, uh, never mind. <laughs> Anyways. I have a classmate that's currently listening. His name's Chris. He's from my art class. And he's been playing Mass Effect 3, Hatsune Miku, Project Diva on PS3, Pokemon Black 2 on 3DS, and Battlefield 3 on PC. Jesus, you know, a little. Why don't we make him a fucking co-host? Yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, <laughs> Mass Effect like fucking job. <laughs> I... I freaking love Mass Effect 3, despite people kind of complaining about the ending. I thought that when they released the uh, the patch to kind of give a little more in-depth as to what happened at the end of uh, Mass Effect 3, they kind of fixed that for me personally. Um, but they, they recently released DLC for that. I can't remember what it was called, but it was ultimately supposed to kind of give you like one last look at all the characters before they basically shut that whole story out. Hmm. Um, if he has played that, he needs to let me know what it's like, because I haven't <laughs> quite decided if I was going to sink money into that yet or not. EA has uh, kind of burned my bridges as far as me spending money on their DLC. If you ever need any opinions, just ask Leopard. He already, he's probably already beat it. Yeah, the games that aren't even out yet. 
<laughs> well, my my biggest complaint was is that when EA switched over to the Origin client, I used to have all the Mass Effect 2 DLC on PC, and all of a sudden it disappeared, and I have to rebuy it. And I'm like, fuck that. Aww. <laughs> that I had character packs, alternate uh, costume packs. I had weapons and shit like that. I spent at least about 75 to 80 bucks on that. And I sent a support ticket into EA and they're like, well, we don't have any transaction records of you owning this stuff. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> so I just lost all of that. Never again. I am never buying DLC from Origin again. Just done. Just fucking done. Anyway, <laughs> the Mass Effect 3. Very good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leopard Keeper's actually already beaten the LNS RPG. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's that elite? Yes. <laughs> the secret to beating it is just deleting it from your hard drive. Ah! <laughs> Man, Andy, is. you are like on a mission to bury the show from within. <laughs> Good God, dude. I'd like to mention our sponsor this evening. Selfless, brave, chase. None of the serves to fly. <laughs> the Dungeon. You knew we were a scorpion when you picked us up. Oh, <laughs> You made that joke too many times. Just like, <laughs> <Yep. you know. laughs> well, Tana, I guess since uh, Randark's here, you want to do the next section? <laughs> All right, calendar events. There's Magic the Gathering, Duels of the Planewalker 2013 Tournament. Contact Randark if you want to join in the next one. We'll start on September 14th. It will be a two-headed giant tournament, so find a partner. If you want to participate and, con and can't find a partner... Go to the Steam group discussion and ask for one. Hopefully someone else will see it and want to be your friend. And he'll be making this tournament public and will be a limit to 20 teams. So if you want in, let Randuck know as soon as possible. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Randuck I'll, says I'll he has ahead. two teams signed up already. Oh, snap. It's I'll go ahead and take the next one since it's technically my contest. TF2 Red vs. Blue, don't be a dick, fall brawl! Sunday, 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 <laughs> Sunday, live Sunday, at the Coliseum! Yeah. Monster we'll trucks! Seat, but you'll only need the uh, We We keep talking Sharknado. about this. <laughs> we keep talking about <laughs> Sharknado. Shark Ghost. Uh, Volcanosaurus coming soon. Maybe. Volcanosaurus, <laughs> is that what I heard? Yes, we're uh, fun right now writing that. I'm Holy not crap! I'm not even that sounds that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. Lovely. <laughs> oh, it's like Deathwing in a Tyrannosaurus Rex form. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, but yeah, TF2 Red versus Blue. Don't be a dick, Frog We're waiting for the Steam Fall Sale, which usually is in October. Uh, we got people that are posting about it. They want to get in on it. Uh, we're basically doing Team Viper versus Team Randark. And you know what? This is actually a true fact. On our, our TF2 stats, I outrank Randark. Wow. Just letting you what? know. Just letting you know. For about the next nine seconds, because he's in chat, and he gets very patient <laughs> about no, things like You that. know what? No. He was the one that actually brought it to my uh, attention. I was just like, what? <laughs> Bitch, you're lying. Oh, don't lie to me. Uh, but yeah, go figure. He would be in chat, but not on the show. <laughs> Underachiever. Um, anyway. But yeah, just just so you know, and, and the only reason why I'm saying that isn't necessarily that I'm going to kick Randark's ass because let's face it, that's not going to happen. You're not. Um, <laughs> hey, you know, Andy, <laughs> kiss my ass, hey, uh, dude. I, I'm just speaking from experience, man. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm actually pretty good at TF2. Okay, just just let you know. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a big deal or anything, but <laughs> uh, no, I'm the that. better deal. I'm not. Uh, yeah. uh, only people that know your name get that joke. So that's just <laughs> wrong. Anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so yes, Team Viper versus Team Randark. Ultimately, the hosts will not win money. We're just kind of there to keep you know the roster full. Morale. And, yeah, keep morale high. Uh, maybe give out some handies when we need to. Uh, but anyway, basically, the whole thing is is that uh, each team will rack up points. Winning team gets a pot of thirty dollars. That uh, the person who scored the most points outside of hosts will get the first uh, pick of the pot. And whatever's left over goes down to the next person, and then the next person. If there is any money left over by the last person, uh, when the pot is, yeah, I said that stupid. Um, but yeah, basically, if there's any money left over by the, when the winning team is done, the, the losing team gets the rest of the money. So the last guy, even though we're saying don't be a dick, you might want to be a dick. <laughs> so yeah, 
that'll happen sometime in the fall. Keep in our Steam discussion for that for now. We also will be moving over to the Geek Insomnia forums at some point, so you might have to look over there as well. And we'd like to welcome our newest spammer that we just banned. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> First post, uh, and, spam. <laughs> and then the very last thing is con alt delete. Uh, prices for uh, pre-registration has gone up. It is after August 30th, so uh, it is now $45 for a weekend pass until October 20th. Uh, hotel rooms are still $99 each, and they're only 20% Full. So get it while you can, because that's going to change in the next couple of months. Usually, people, you know, do the last minute. Oh my God, I got booked hotel. And then next come thing you know. get pissed with the LNS crew. Yeah, uh, and it's it's going to be fun. <laughs> Watch Andy <laughs> sleep in his car. <laughs> Dude, bunk up with Randark. <laughs> you two can like sit there and play Mega Man all night. I and like shit. you guys, Great. but I'm getting my room because I don't like you that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, 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 I think Randark would be amenable to that, but he is, you know, married and stuff, and I am, well, to be well, honest, that's, a repulsive human if, being. So that's if I'm Randark's be wife around. even comes. I mean, you got to remember, Randark's wife might be like, wait a minute, all the bunch of crazy people in cosplay, <laughs> fuck that noise. Uh, <laughs> Especially when she sees you in your uh, Super Mario uniform, I'm sure. Not ever. <laughs> I told you what Super I'm Mario wrong. Brony. Going on. Be Jerry in chat says late night spooning. Uh, <laughs> hey, late night spooner. There's our new podcast. <laughs> throw down a microphone and listen to me snore. Yeah, uh, we're gonna put a. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put a thread up in our forum soon, so keep an eye out for that. But if we get enough people committing to actually coming from our, you know, our fan base, um, we I guarantee we will do something special one night. So. Oh yeah. Even one if night. it's like Super we night. just we rent a half a like one of those like you know short buses and we all just strip club it yeah that's fine. Mm-hmm. 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 We here yeah, at Late I'm... Night Steamer are into strip clubs. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Um, Boobies. And, and speaking of which, I'm sorry guys, but I am bunking with Tana during this. Aww. And if you are coming to the room to sleep, uh, be prepared to hold a camera. Hey. <laughs> I didn't let you know about this. Sorry. Uh, someone's going to be holding the camera. <laughs> a live YouTube release of Late Night Spooner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Which, not going to be Spooner. Uh, anyway, uh, commentary uh, by Tenario. <laughs> it's going to be forking. Yeah! Oh, yeah! And butter diving. Wait, what? Uh, Guess I should bring my katana. Oh, oh god damn it. Uh, we're going to move on to the green light spotlight. It's, we it's, are? Yeah, we are. We're, we're done with this. Uh, <laughs> and speaking of spooning, we're going to move on to foot lol. <laughs> <laughs> what? Exactly. Uh, we, all, we all love soccer, right? Oops, right? so does Randark. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Randark's not here. Uh, so we're, we're not going to have our <laughs> late night sports talk with Randark and Andy. Uh, but anyway, but how badly do you want to win? Well, Foot Law lets you use mines, shields, aliens, cows, guns, and more cheats to decimate the opposing team and protect your players against your friends or AI opponents. It's by HeroCraft, which I swear to God is a Minecraft texture pack, and is available <laughs> on the Steam community. Uh, it is, they also have a version available for you to play, like a, a demo of sorts. Uh, somebody please copy that into chat, because I can't view chat for some stupid reason. Uh, it features hilarious soccer chaos. Four planets, each with several types of playing fields, 60 levels, highly customizable characters and teams, which really isn't that highly customizable, uh, crazy power-ups and tools. And uh, probably the most uh, exciting thing about this is is that it, you can drop meteors on Ew. your opposing team players and watch as they go flailing halfway across the field. That is pretty fun. Take that, um, Pele. Yeah, it, <laughs> It is uh, available on, I believe, Android, iOS as well, and should be available on Ouya as well, if I remember correctly. And I am not, this so is don't take Russian my word for it. Russian developed. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny when you go onto their stream, Steam Greenlight page. Uh, they have their English explanation, and then they have Russian explanation. So, and they they yeah. developed this in a nuclear factory. So, just so you know. <laughs> they had me at cows and guns. Right? No doubt. <laughs> um, if you go on, Soccer the- this kind of looks like this is like literally a cross between 
Kerbal Space Program and soccer. <laughs> like, it's just completely Kinda. over the top. You're expected to just destroy crap left and right. and The okay, physics gonna, look impressive. <laughs> I love blowing up shit. I'm going to date myself here. The main reason why I looked at this game was because back in the day on the Sega Genesis, there used to be a game that I played the hell of called Mutant League Football. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Ever played Mutant League Football? You will never play another football game again because it was absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the best football games that I've ever played. You oh. had landmines on the ground. You had bodies flying everywhere, sinkholes that led you into the great abyss. You know, it was a football game from hell, and it was good for it. Uh, so when I, when I looked it at this was. game... Football was about the eighth most interesting thing about that game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I loved bribing the referee, and then at some point, like... All of a sudden, you would see all these like opposing teammates beat the shit out of referee because he keeps making bad calls against them. Uh, it was it was good times. Welcome, to uh, welcome to Chicago, by the Hello. way. Uh, <laughs> Yay! One siren per show, right? I mean, that is that what we discussed. <laughs> one siren. I guess per show. on average, you generally go over that quota, though. Yeah, I know. We need at least one siren. So, uh, what's that? That is an ambulance. That's an ambulance. All right. So someone got. Uh, Someone got surprised. Uh, you can just punch. start a deep dish pizza oh. shop there that delivers in those ambulances. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza's so good and it's an emergency. Uh, anyway. Emergency pizza. There we go. Fuck it. Fuck it. Millionaires. You're it is welcome. a double stuffed pizza stat. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. This totally happened. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Somewhere, somewhere in my neighborhood, there is a there's a mobile DJ, and his his DJ service is called um, it's like Bob's DJ something is something generic, but he drives around this work uh, van that is an old ambulance, and he call it literally says on the side the Jambulance, and I'm just <laughs> like, oh shit, the Jambulance is here. <laughs> That, Drop a beat. Woo. That's the most retarded thing I've yeah, ever heard it in looks, my entire I, life. I, I, I promise pictures on uh, Twitter oh, by next Monday. So, <laughs> oh, I, 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 I want to hear a dubstep song where the beat is just uh, people convulsing <laughs> the, the, paddles, the emergency heart restarter pedals. Just. <laughs> so you want to hear "Tainted Love." Got it. Yes. <laughs> I love that song. What the fuck? This song fucking rocks. <laughs> yeah. Tainted love. Whoa. Anyway, Dude, um, if we do karaoke one of those nights, I will, dude, I will sing some tainted oh, love. Do you, you do not totally want do it. me. You do not want me in karaoke. I will hog the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Who is oh, a sober touch. guy on stage? God. Anyway, um, anyway, yeah, um, yeah, you do not want me in karaoke. Anyway, um. <laughs> The only complaint that I had about this game is that uh, it's a lot of fun, but it gets old when you get into long games. Like it gets to a point where it's like, okay, this is kind of the same shit over and over again. So, um, but otherwise, it's a fun game. I, I like it, and I, I swear to God, in the beginning, uh, right in the menu, when you start clicking to start the game, they have this uh, sound loop of a bunch of Russian kids playing, uh, <laughs> you know, football, aka soccer. Um, and I swear to God, at one point they go go, and they're like, there's this one kid that sounds like he's saying, "Look at that shit! Look at that shit!" I swear to God, it sounds like he's saying that, but that, it might not be because they're mainly speaking Russian, but it sounds like it. But yeah, anyway, okay, fun game. Just, Check it out. just watching the trailer, there might be some, you know, moral problems with this game going on. Oh, dropping meteors. <laughs> Well, and everybody this show has to moral problems. Face and um, yeah. <laughs> shut it's up, fun game, inward though. Andy. Definitely check it out. What's that? Shut up, inward Andy. <laughs> oh. oh, go listen to Django oh. Unchained <laughs> on the Geek Insider Geek Culture uh, podcast. No, that was a good no. show. You're you're not wrapping me into this one. <laughs> <laughs> we already did it. Don't. Uh, anyway, so can, we, can we just start. can we just end this show? Sure thing. Please? Kaboom! Oh, thank you, God. Our website is <laughs> www.latenightsteamer.com. You can find our wonderful network over at www.geekinsomnia.com. You can check out our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com/latenightsteamer. 
Uh, you can find our Steam group over at www.steamcommunity.com slash group slash late night steamer. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Ellen Steamer. Uh, we also want to thank our sponsor this week. Uh, you can go to their website at dungeonsgame.com and that takes you over to their Kickstarter. Um, it is Eyes of Draconis. Fantastic game. Golden Axe is a fantastic game, so if they model themselves after that and Castle Crashers, then they have me at woe. Yep, uh, they have uh, <laughs> three weeks to go. Let me just point this out. They're uh, a little short of their Kickstarter goal, but uh, it looks achievable. They already have 74 backers, and uh, I think we're probably four of them. So Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, definitely backed it. Yeah, uh, definitely you back them. Back them. Get that game on here because we, we want it. We want it. I want to play that, like, right now. Mm -hmm. I, I imagine we get the four of us on there, or probably three of us because it's a traditional Golden Axe thing. But anyway, you get us on there, shits get real. <laughs> she gets real. Uh, also, with our uh, with our network website, www.geekinsomnia.com, the reason why we're bringing this back up is that the forums are live. Let us know. Uh, check out the forums. Check out all the shows. Talk to us on there. Uh, we really want all the feedback and fun that comes with forums. So you can find that at www.geekinsomnia.com slash forums, I believe. Yes. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So yeah, go register on the forums. We want to hear from you. Yay. Yay. Well. So how many loops are we in in the outro song? I guess I should start playing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So that would be zero. Damn. Zero loops. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. There we, we go. Just, we, just, we need to stall for at least a couple minutes to let that play out. I need that. You know, just that um, but yeah. So, what, what was that? Uh, what? Game Dev, Game Dev Tycoon. Not getting it. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> it's fine. It's not your cup of tea. Yolo. It is not my cup of tea. But you know what? If you want to be successful on our YouTube channel, apparently you have to do a simulator. <laughs> I've noticed that. Oh, like, the farm sims? The farm sims are our highest rated video. <laughs> you know why? Me! Well, no, it's because of Linux, but... Okay. What? Yeah. Linux's videos are high rated, not DJ's. Oh, nobody oh, likes DJ. No, 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 no. My, oh, my. Mine, mine are getting up there slowly. Shut your mouth. Slowly, <laughs> my 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 big corn one. <laughs> oh, you big corn hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's get out of here, guys. guys. We're out of here, guys. Have a good one. Take care. All right.